Hello everyone, welcome to PyLearning. In today's video, we are going to talk about operator overloading in object oriented programming. Now, operator overloading means intercepting the built in operations in a Python class. It makes your functions or operators behave in a different way. Using operator overloading, you can make your class instances behave more like built in types. Now, there are a lot of operators, so I won't cover all of them in this video. Don't worry though, we will go in details on each of those operators in different videos. But there are still nuances to Python operator overloading and other concepts that can't be covered in any video. For that, you need a book. Now the best book that I can recommend you is Learning Python by Mark Lutz. I have this book and I use it pretty much every day. If you ever wanted to buy a Python book, this is the one you want. You can find the link for this book in the description below. In this video, we'll talk about wrapper and string. These operators are used for string representation of your instances. So let's get started. Let's now define a class, class car. All right, the same class we have been using for all our tutorials. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define the init class. All right. And I'm gonna pass in some parameters here. So let's say company and then model all right now here i can say self dot company equal to company and then i can say self dot model equal to model all right now if i create instances for this class let's say x equal to car capital c and then pass in bmw and then I don't know any models, so let's let's just say some random strings like LGT52 and then Y equal to car and let's say Mercedes. Alright, and then X3. Okay, so we have two instances X and Y. Now if I print X or I print Y, what is the kind of result are we getting? Let's see that. So if I run this. You see we get a result like this so it's like car object and it has some identification but this is not that very readable for this purpose there are operators like string and wrapper let's see them in action so if i put def string here and then i say return self dot company plus space plus self dot model and now I call the print x and then let's uh, put y here as well. Now if I do this, you will see that it returns something like this. You see, so BMW LGT 52 Mercedes X3. I guess we still have this x y here. Let's remove them. So now you see that we can read our instances in a much more readable format. That is the main objective of using uh, operator like string. Similarly, we can also use wrapper here instead of string. You know, wrapper also does, also has a similar purpose in a way. So now if we run this, you see, we are getting a similar thing. So BMW LGT 52, Mercedes X3. So wrapper and string are really useful for representing your instances in a much more readable way. Question now is, why use two different display methods? What is the objective of having two different methods? We can either go for string or we can either go for wrapper, right? I mean one of them. So what's the point? So let me talk to you about the differences. The string is tried first for the print operation and the string built-in function. It generally uh, should return a user-friendly display. So every time you say print an instance, uh, Python looks for the string method automatically all right so let's say here we have both string and wrapper all right so if we put this now let's do one thing for string i'm only going to return the company name so we have some differences between string and wrapper so let's say we have our class like this we have the init we have the string and we have the wrapper so now if i print x and y let's see what happens so now you see you only get the company name. So if in your class there is both the string method and the wrapper method, then Python is going to execute the string method first. 
automatically all right if the string method is not there then python falls back to the wrapper method now string is definitely tried first but wrapper is used in all other contexts for interactive echoes the wrapper function nested appearances let me show you what do i mean by nested appearances okay so we have our string and wrapper both here so let's say instead of doing this i say x equal to i have a list here so i can say car and i pass in the same bmw uh, then lgt52 and then i put in car and then i say mercedes let's put it to caps it's not required but still x2 all right so instead of defining instances differently i'm now defining instance instances within my list so now if i print x let's see what happens you see now even though we have a string method here python automatically falls back to the wrapper method why because this is a nested appearance now instead of defining our instances uh, individually we are using uh, we are putting our instances within a list so in this case python automatically goes for the wrapper method so this is where a wrapper method is really useful let's say you are not defining instances individually or you have dictionaries and other stuff you know in that case wrapper method having a wrapper method in your class is really going to be useful for readability so my suggestion to you is never use the string method i mean you can go for both of them this will allow you to use string and wrapper in different circumstances but as we saw if there is no string method python automatically falls back to the wrapper method so my suggestion to you would be always use a wrapper method in that case no matter what you are doing you are always going to get a readable instance type so instead of class instead of putting it in a list if i just call you know like uh, the instance by itself so let's write that again lgt52 so in this case also we are going to get a readable instance so this is the advantage of using wrapper if if your string isn't there for example let's try to go back so now since we don't have string uh, we have wrapper let's replace this with string now we don't have wrapper here if i try to print this now it is going to give us again the unreadable car object you know so this is the advantage of using wrapper so in my opinion try to always use wrapper but if you are using string then then also it's not an issue uh, it's very unlikely that you would be defining things like this in your uh, python code so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial about string and wrapper and you understand the differences between using both of them now in the next video we are going to learn about some more operators that you can use in your python classes until then thank you for watching this make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video